We have other verses in the Bible that talk specifically about the Holy Spirit. Okay. In John, for example, where Jesus himself is saying yeah. the Spirit will come, the Advocate. Yeah. Jesus also said that he, the the, uh, the Spirit of Truth, he will he will only say what he hears. He will only speak what he hears. Jesus said that. Yeah. Yes. I'll only say what the, you, I've heard the Father say. No, no. Jesus said that, and also the Holy Spirit said that. The Holy Spirit. Jesus said, said whatever you hear from me yeah. is from my God. Yeah, I'm paraphrasing here. Yes, the words I speak are not my own, but it's of the one who sent me. Yes, yeah. that's for Jesus. That's in the case of the Holy Spirit, the, it'll say that he will only say what he hears. He will not say anything of his own. He will not John, say anything new, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. no, not anything new, anything of his own. I'm not sure that's exactly Yeah, it's in John. Right. John 16 verse 13. That's the one, yeah. But when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. Good. So he will not speak on his own. Yeah. Okay. He will only say what he hears from God. Yeah. Good. So when he says he will not speak on his own, yeah. What do you understand? I understand that as in he, he is speaking through God, but he is God. That's how I understand. No, no. But if he was God, mm -hmm. then you, then it is okay to say he speaks on his own, right? Because mm -hmm. God is independent. But here he's saying he will not speak on his own. He will only say what he hears mm -hmm. from whom? The Father. Thank you. From God. God the Father, right? Sure. But he like he is also God. <laughs> That's not the question here. Yeah. If, if, if he was God, is even worse because the fact is that he cannot speak on his own. It's not, you can speak on your own. But again, again. So this is the bit where we're getting stuck on, right? So the verse is not saying he cannot speak on his own. He said it will, he will not speak on his own. Which is even more emphasis. He will not speak on his own. He will. Yes. He, he will not speak. He on will. Like free will. He chooses. Like yeah, without he will the not speak. Not speak. speak yeah. So it's not saying he cannot speak on his own. If I say you cannot speak on your own, yeah. What does that mean? If if you're saying I cannot, yeah. That means like I'm mute or something. I, okay. I, I literally don't have a And voice. if I say you will not speak on your own, means what? I'm choosing not to speak on my own. Okay. You're making and what is the condition for you not to speak on your own? What is the condition for yes. me? As in, if I because you need some, you need to hear from someone, right? Okay. okay. What I'm saying is that if the condition is this, that the Holy Spirit will not speak on His own until He hears from whom? From the Father, from God the Father. That's what you're implying. From okay. Read it again. Because I have, again. I think you agree with me just that. The reason you're not agreeing is because uh, you know that it's kind of going against your narrative of the Holy Spirit being God. Honestly, if you ask anyone who understands English, and I'm not disparaging you in any fam uh, in any way, shape, or form, don't be, not being condescending. I'm just saying that maybe you're looking at it from you know the Trinitarian glasses. The lenses, so maybe you should remove that. Look at it objectively. Believe me, in my teenage years, <laughs> I have challenged the Trinity on many occasions. The thing that convinced me of it is looking at other verses where it talks, where Jesus Himself offers eternal life. In in the Quran, it says that only God can offer eternal life. Only God can give eternal life, right? Only no, 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 eternal life is again a condition. For example, if you if you look Allah. if you look at uh, the Old Testament, Ezekiel 18, it talks about the Father is not accountable for the sin of the Son. Uh -huh. Son is not accountable for the sin of the Father. Sure. And anyone who repents, you know, they will have life, eternal life. Yeah. So eternal life is like if you are righteous, yeah. then you'll go to paradise because that's what eternal life but is. Who gives that eternal life in the Quran? It's Allah, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. So the thing that convinced me is looking in the Bible. The Bible says that only God can give eternal life. And the Quran says Allah can give eternal life. Jesus himself claimed to give eternal Jesus life. Jesus is giving you the condition that if you if you believe in me, because one of the conditions in Islam as well is the is the belief in in the prophets of God. Yeah. If you, for example, any Muslim who rejects Jesus as a prophet, he is not a Muslim. Okay, because this is one of the pillars of faith. Yeah. Okay, that means you must have faith in the in the, in the, in the and true messages. yeah the true prophets of God. Yeah. The message, the uh, revelations of God. Yeah. Obviously, in uh, belief in Almighty God. Yes, and the angels, and it uh, at the end it says. In uh, Yawm al Akhir, that means the Day of Judgment, yeah, and also in Qadr. Yeah. Yes? So these are the six articles of faith. Yeah. Now, one of them is belief in the, in the prophets and of God. Messages, right? And obviously, yeah. And Jesus is one of the, yeah. you know, grand, so having, having great messages. So having looked at that, right? And yeah. having looked at Jesus' message, yeah. Jesus himself says, I, uh, I and the Father are one. And in the same chapter, he talks about how he offers eternal life, how he is the shepherd of the flock, um, and about how uh, the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Yeah. So he, he also says, the only true God is the Father. Right. Do you agree? So why did he baptize in the name of the Father? So don't don't go there yet. Just like understand this passage in yeah. John 17, 3. When he points only to the Father as the only true God, yeah. and the Father is one person according to you, yeah. am I right? Mm -hmm. Then should I believe Jesus or you who says three persons? Well, I'm not disagreeing with Jesus. I believe I, oh, you I are say actually. we should. No, 
I'm not. So you agree with Jesus? Only I one do. person is God. <laughs> what Jesus says? No, no, no. Okay. He says the, the, the God is only one. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. who is that one God according to him? Well, he like he he, he never specifically says I am God, but he, spe he no, says. No, no, that wasn't my question. Listen to the question. Mm -hmm. Who, who yeah. did he address as the only true God? He addresses the Father. Thank you. But he then addresses so the should I believe you, the church, or Jesus? Jesus said believe, only the Father. Jesus. Exactly. Jesus. So Jesus okay. says only the Father. Okay. You say what? Who is the only true God according to you? The only true what God is, is the Father. So See what I mean? But that's one God. That is only one God. See what I mean?